What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another exciting unboxing video and today is a special video because I've been waiting a while, probably ever since the beginning of this year when I first laid eyes on this high-end Taiwa spinning reel. And yes, I said spinning reel. I know you guys are used to seeing a lot of big cast reels on my channel, but a spinning reel, especially this model, I've been drooling over and wanting for the longest time and I finally got my hands on it. Quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Digitaka.com. If you're looking to purchase a high-end JDM reel or even a lower cost JDM reel from Daiwa, Shimano, Abu Garcia, check out Digitaka.com. Not only are they the cheapest in the whole world, I mean, you're paying way under MSRP. It is a legit website. They deliver in two business days straight from Japan to your doorstep. And it's the only place I recommend and I use personally. There's a direct link description box below. Without further ado, let's go to the bird's eye view and show you this high-end Daiwa spinning reel today. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Super, super excited once again. Thank you so much, Digitaka. All right, man, they package this box like it's Fort Knox. And I'm telling you what, you never have to worry about your reel, your nice expensive reel ever being under package from Digitaka and here we go man look at this oh my gosh it already says made in Japan you know you know what's up guys you know me and my Japanese uh, likes is crazy here we go man look at that oh this looks like it's straight from Daiwo wow that's crazy all right what do we got here we have Digitaka stuff Daiwa Shimano oh okay it's like a brochure like all the like some of the examples that they sell. Pretty cool. Thank you, Digitaco. Put this to the side right there. Now, for the main, main event. All right, here we go, baby. This die will exist, man. I've been wanting it for a long time, as I stated. I am like super, super excited, man. It's like, for real, Christmas in August. <laughs> Put that to the side right here, man. Woo! Look at this, just, I know I'm about to get to, but, but, but look, just take a moment and look at this, man. This is straight from Daiwa, okay? Look, 22 exists, you already know the model number. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, Digitaka, literally, they got this from Daiwa, and they sent it straight to RX Angler. I mean, that right there is service really great. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, the packaging is freaking insane, dude. What is this? Okay, it's like box within a box within a box, okay? that out put that to the side okay look at that right there we're gonna put these boxes to the side and whoo wee there she is guys this is the cream of the crop right if you're looking for the highest end model that Daiwa offers in their spinning reel I mean they have the saltwater saltiga which is super high end they have the exist which is their high end model the highest of the high this is to compete with the Shimano Stella that's out in the market. And man, look at that. Look at the look at the writing, man. This is such a nice packaging, man. It's like I feel like I'm opening a Rolex or something. All right, let's get this out here. Whew, man, the box is like it's matte. It's it has a nice touch to it, almost like a vegan leather like on a tesla or something like that it's hard to explain but let's open it up here come on box it's very tight there we go oh my god holy smoke that is that's a display right here people look at that good god that's pretty jeez oh my gosh i am like s s salivating is that the correct word Oh my God, it's so small and so light. Wow. So nice. Goodness gracious, let's put the handle on. I know there's more to this box, but I just wanna to get to the main event here. Oh my gosh, that's like butter. Good God, that is so smooth. Man, I might have to say this is smoother than the Shimano Stella. Wowzers. Man, this is a very striking, handsome looking reel. Look at that color scheme, man. It's just like chrome. Uh, I do remember the Shimano Stella has a little bit like a green gray uh, hue to it, but this is straight up chrome, like like medium chrome. Not dark chrome, not light chrome, but medium chrome. It just, it looks business, man. It looks very high end. Wow, craftsmanship is 
Excellent, excellent. Once again, guys, you can see that made in Japan right there. Not joking, man. I love these Japanese reels. Okay, let's put that to the side for just a second right there. Let's take a look. This is a box right here, hard foam. <sighs> Looks like it's um, it's purposely built for this reel. I mean, that's really nice from Daiwa. All right, let's put that to the side here. Let's check out exactly what else we have here. We got another hard foam um, protection here. Oh, okay, this is the all the miscellaneous stuff right here. Check it out. You get a really nice, handsome neoprene bag, just like Shimano Stella does, just like all other high-end reels from Daiwa Shimano. They give you a nice carrying bag so you protect your investment like that. Oh, that's really, really nice. I imagine if you try to buy this like off of eBay, if you lose it or something, it's going to run you around at least 50, 60 bucks. And it's really nice. Oh, and I forgot to do the smell test. Shame on me. Here we go. Ooh, wow. These smell like a new pair of Jordans. Like inside, when you smell the inside of the shoe, no one's ever worn it. That's what it smells like. It smells really good. And the reel itself uh, smells like oil. It smells really nice. So we have a manual here in Japanese. Here, I guess this is for the warranty. And this is the serial number, I guess. I guess you turn it in. I'm not sure. Um, we got some more information. This always comes with all the high-end Daiwa stuff, I've noticed. I think it's like an extra protection or something. Don't know, don't care. And what is this? Oh, it's an envelope. Holy smoke, what is this? What is this? Okay, some extra rings right here for the drag system. And some more stuff that's in Japanese, probably relating to this, but we don't know what it means. And we can't use Google Translate on this little orange piece of paper here, so we'll just put that to the side. Put this there. Put this back in just like that. This on top, just like that. This goes underneath like this. And we'll put this to the side right there. Back to the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Man, that is one sexy reel. My God, this thing is freaking majestic. Like I said, I've been waiting on this since early 2022 when I first saw the Instagram pictures from the Japanese anglers. Oh my gosh, this thing is, looks so good. It looks like sex. I mean, dude, this looks nice. Look at that drag. Listen to that drag clicker. Very tingy, very high-end sounding. It's not like your cheap over-the-counter stuff. I mean, this thing is super nice. And it's so lightweight. Uh, while I'm talking, guys, check out the specs, which are going to be like right over here. Okay, so this right here is the LT2000SH. H meaning it's going to be the high gear ratio. The gear ratio on this specific reel is 5.8 to 1. They do make a smaller version. Or sorry, let me take that back. They don't make a smaller version. The lower model to this is the 2000SP which is a gear ratio of 4.9, but the size is exactly the same. So yes, this is the smallest offering that Daiwa offers in their brand new Exist high-end model. Uh, so how much does it weigh? What, what are you talking about small? Okay, well, this thing is 155 grams, which translates to 5.4 ounces. And believe me, guys, I feel like it weighs probably right at 5 ounces. I mean, this thing is crazy, crazy lightweight with all the premium materials that you can imagine. Uh, it comes with what, 13 ball bearings, I believe? Yeah, 12 plus one ball bearings. The handle is 45 millimeters. Winding length is 76 centimeters. Um, max drag, believe it or not, for a small package like this is 10 pounds, which is plenty enough for inshore uh, saltwater fishing. When you're talking about redfish, flounder, speckled trout, no problem at all. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of fun fighting fish big fish with a small little package here and this can handle it without any issues. So what makes this new Exist so special for 2022? Because this is a brand new model compared to the model when it first came out and to, well not first came out, when the previous model came out I think 2016 or 17, so 17, 18, 19, 21, so usually it has around a five year shelf life. So what makes this very special? Well they redesigned this reel with with a system called the air drive design and basically what the air drive design to put it in a nutshell is they reduce weight in the rotor the spool the bell assembler and a lighter rotation to achieve a lightweight package so once again the air drive system consists of four uh, topics the rotor the bell the spool weight and the shaft so let's start with the rotor real fast it's made of their proprietary compound called Zion but you know honestly it's like a CI 4 plus material it's very comparable to what Shimano has 
It's very lightweight, very resistant, very strong. I wouldn't say it's like carbon fiber, but you know, it's 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 a really fancy plastic. Let's just let's just not beat around the bush and let's say how it is, unless Daiwa themselves can comment below and correct me if I'm wrong. The bell itself, this is called the Air Drum Bell. They reduced the weight of the bell by 33% according to Daiwa. Uh, compared to the previous outgoing mile model and Daiwa has adjusted the angle of the bell setting I guess the angle of the bell setting to improve the line movement into the roller So therefore not only is it more lightweight you're going to get a better line management with the exist and Speaking of line management, let's talk about the spool weight. The spool weight has been significantly reduced It's a new color scheme as you can see they have like grooves for the line to lay on it really nicely so um, when you have good line management guys, I don't know if you know this, but when the line management is good The casting is going to be very efficient meaning it's going to go far You're not going to get caught up. You're not going to get many wind knots, etc, etc The air drive shaft obviously we can't take this apart. We can but we're not going to the shaft inside is called the air drive shaft It has a non-contact structure between the main shaft and the pinion gear uh, in addition to this both ends of the gear is now supported with bearings to relay the crank power from the handle to the rotor with a higher level efficiency basically all that jargon means it's smooth it's efficient it's strong it's lightweight and all contributes to the whole air drive design system you have the tough digigear body to support the drive system inside you have the monocoque body right here which is a one-piece system and of course being high-end from daiwa you can expect this to have mag sealed so basically if you guys don't know what is mag sealed mag sealed is a way to waterproof or make this very water resistant. Uh, there's a lot of areas of rotation or areas frequently exposed to water and all these areas according to divers research have been sealed with the patent mag sealed oil and ball bearing technologies. I actually prefer having something that's more waterproof and water resistant because you guys know I am a kayak fisherman which means I am in a small watercraft which means water comes over the bow at times and the reel it's kind of sitting in the rod holder next to the bow and it'll get splashed. And sometimes the reels that are not mag sealed or water protected, waterproof, whatever the case may be, will start feeling that grind in there from that saltwater deposit. So that's why I prefer a lot of these reels that I own to be mag sealed. So the next question, Nick, is why did you choose the Daiwa Exist and specifically why did you choose LT2000SH model, which is not available in the U.S. market but in the Japanese market? Well, you guys know I'm a finesse fisherman. I like to use Bugs fishing lure, especially the 116th ounce, 118th ounce. This is the reason why I pick this specific model and this Exist model itself because, number one, I want a high-end reel that's made in Japan. I've never owned the Exist, to be frank. I've owned the Saltiga, the other high-end reels. I've owned the um, Steez lineup, the high-end baitcast reels, but I've never owned the Exist, so that's why I want to get one, try it out. I'm truly blown away from first impressions. And I, I fish finesse, man. I use really ultralight lures to target redfish, flounder, speckled trout off my kayak. I'm going to be pairing this up to an old 18 BFS uh, spinny rod whether it be the suppressor or the buoyancy I haven't decided yet it doesn't matter any of those rods are going to make this a perfect complement to each other and I'm going to be targeting those large redfish with a small little bugs lure also I'm going to look into purchasing a small you know very lightweight cork also maybe this will be like a popping cork but miniature popping cork type rig setup um, I haven't decided yet but I am looking forward to catching my first fish on this and man, I am loving the looks on this. What do you guys think? I mean, you guys think this is a very handsome reel? I mean, I love this color scheme. I love it more than the Shimano Stella look, to be frank, because I just love that medium, almost leaning towards dark chrome look. It just, man, it just screams high quality to me.